Good morning, Herons. Good morning, indeed. How are you, Mr. Cole? I'm fantastic. Excited for a new year? I sure am. This year will be full of great surprises and awesome memories. You know, we have hundreds of new faces. Not only do we have a whole new class of sixth graders, but we have a whole new team of administrators, too. Let's take a few moments and get to know Miss Fortuna, Mr. Mulligan, and Miss Broadus. Hi everyone, I am Miss Fortuna. I'm super excited to be here. And what I'm looking forward to most this year is getting to know all the students and as many people by their first name as possible. Um, my spirit animal is a wolf. My favorite TV show, and please don't judge me, is Bachelor in Paradise. And then my favorite school policy is cell phones off and away so students are not distracted during learning time. All right, what's up, Happy Valley Herons? My name is Patrick Mulligan. I'm one of your new assistant principals here this year. Um, I got some questions to get to know me a little better. So the first one, favorite TV show? Gotta be The Office. Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, most excited about being here at Happy Valley? Probably that a la carte line. I've heard some great things. I know what I wanna do and spend my lunch standing in line, so I'm excited about that. And I'm also excited to meet all of you and just have a great school year. Uh, spirit Animal, I'm working on my grizzly bear. We'll see if I can get it going for a little while longer. Uh, and of course, my favorite school policy, I'm all about that 10-10 rule. We're in school to learn, to get smarter, and we want to fill that brain with all that knowledge. So in class, working. Otherwise, have a great day, Harris. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Broadus. I'm your new principal at Happy Valley Middle School. Um, my favorite TV show is Blackish. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. I'm most excited about meeting each and every one of you. Um, if you see me in the hallway, please say hello. My spirit animal is my dog. Duchess. She's a miniature schnauzer and she's very spirited and has a lot of personality. My favorite school policy is no earbuds. So remember that when you're walking through the hallways or when you're in your classroom. Thank you and have a good day. And welcome to HVMS. I'm sure we're going to have a great year. Hey Mr. Oliver, uh, something feels different about this new desk. I can't put my finger on it. Uh, you're right. Things are looking a little different around here because Heron Studios has moved. We're now located in the library in my classroom in 239B, and then we're actually in 239A, the studios. Of course. That explains why I walked all the way down here today. <laughs> well, it may be further than most classrooms, but it couldn't have taken you more than a few minutes to make the trip. You know, as long as you travel the halls with purpose, you'll never be late for class. Four minutes is plenty of time. It is ample time. So, Mr. Oliver, what else is new around here? Well, for one thing, it's not Monday morning. Ah, that's right. Heron TV has moved showing times to Tuesday during Character Strong. Since every student has Character Strong, every student will get to watch Heron TV. But episodes will still post every Monday evening, so if you tune in on YouTube, you can catch it early and often. I'm a subscriber. I rang the bell. Are you? Well, of course, I'm a subscriber. Are you? Yeah, that's about my question. Any other changes? <laughs> well, do you remember how last year we would have different inspirational quotes from different people uh, around different cultures during different months? Sure. Quote of the week. Yeah, you bet. But this year we're going to be very intentional about aligning those quotes by celebrating various heritage months all school year long. Let's turn it over to Miss Titus for more info. Good morning, Herons. I'm Miss Titus, room 213, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how we are celebrating Heritage Months each month again this year. So this month is Latinx Month, and that's already being um, organized. If you would like to help next year with Latinx Month, you can contact me, Miss Titus. And next month is October, and that is Disability Awareness Month. So if you would like to get involved in that, you can contact Miss Mel, Miss Weatherill, Miss White Wolf, or Miss Sargent, or myself as well. If you have ideas about how else you want to help the school celebrate, or you want to help produce some things that can be displayed around the school, we would love your input. We are so happy to celebrate with you. Happy Latinx Month, Herons. Have an awesome week. Hi, Herons. We're the teachers here representing September's Heritage Month for Latinx communities. Latinx? 
Um, what's that? Is that like the same as Hispanic? No, no, no. Hispanic represents the Spanish speaking community. So, uh, what is Latinx then? Latinx is a gender neutral reference for people of Latin American origin or descent. Our school places a high value on all cultures represented in our community. For each month, at Happy Valley Middle School is going to be celebrating the humanity in all of us. In La Quech, which is a poem that uh, was given to us by the Mayan people, it expresses our connection within our Happy Valley Middle School community. Senor H will be reciting his part of In La Quech in the Rio Platense accent. And you're going to hear Miss Calderon recite her part of the poem using a Caribbean or um, Spanish neutral accent. For example, have you noticed that everyone has an accent depending on where they learn their first language? Californians speak a different accent of English than people from England or Alabama, for instance. In La Quech, again, is a poem given to us by the Mayan people. Tu eres mi otro yo. Vos sos mi otro yo. You are my other me. Si te hago daño a ti. Si yo te hago uh, daño a ti. If I do harm to you. Me hago daño a mí mismo. Yo me hago daño a mí mismo. I do harm to myself. Si te amo y respeto. Si yo te amo y respeto. If I love and respect you. Me amo y me respeto. Me amo y respeto yo. I love and respect myself. Enjoy, Enjoy that, that next, next month. month! I love learning about new cultures. I'm a social studies teacher after all. Uh, me too, actually, a former social studies teacher. But do you know what I really love to learn about? Uh, 80s movie trivia, duh. Uh, of course. But uh, what I really love are random facts. Well then it must be time for the random fact of the episode. Oh, hello. You must be here for the random fact of the episode. Did you know that before he became president, Abraham Lincoln was a champion wrestler in his county of Illinois? He wrestled in over 300 matches and lost only one. And that's your random fact of the episode. So Honest Abe was a wrestler? You know, you learn something new every day. All right. You know, I spend a lot of time outside, so learning about the weather is something I always look forward to. That's why I think right now we should take a look at the seven day forecast. Before we go, don't you think we better do a hair and call out drawing? Hey, don't you think we should explain to our audience what this whole hair and call out drawing is all about? Oh, sure, that's a good idea. So, each week we select five lucky winners that receive hair and call outs for safe, respectful, and responsible behaviors. So put those hair and call outs in the bucket at the main office for your chance to win. Just as long as you remember to put your first and last name on that call out. You know there is more than one Maddie at this school. <laughs> Plenty of Maddies. We love you, Maddies. Well, congratulations to our very first winners of the year. Be sure to claim your prize with Mrs. Damon in the main office. All right, I think it's time to wrap up the show. I am Mr. Cole. And I'm Mr. Oliver.